everybody it's Amy and I have a video um, project share for you today first of all I wanted to say I'm, I'm back I sort of disappeared for a while um, my mother uh, got you know seriously ill and for you know a few weeks were, were dicey there and um, she's she's doing better now and she you know will need some uh, follow-up care which we're which we're handling now and she'll be okay um, but you know it's been a little bit of a long road and then um, Things have been busy with work. My work is celebrating a 100-year anniversary. And, um, you know, just a lot going on personally, too. So it, it was, there's just been an incredibly busy time. Didn't leave really much time for crafting and videos, although I tried to sneak some here. You know, sneak some me time in here and there, little bits of time. Because, you know, that's important. It's important to do what you enjoy, especially when there's a lot going on. And um, the other thing, you know, so I have this project share. And it's going to be like a, almost like a deluge of videos, I hope. I have this project share. This is uh, projects for Shara Crane. She's hosting a memory dex challenge, and I wanted to participate. It's a dimensional memory dex challenge because Shara is a good friend. And this this was a really unique challenge, and um, I wanted to, to give it a go. And then I have um, been the... I have another big project share, Halloween project share, that fell behind. So I need to get that video up, which I'm looking forward to do doing. And um, I've been the lucky recipient of so much Happy Mail. I received um, Happy Mail, a little Happy Mail package from Shara herself. Um, Anna, she's ephemeris on um, Instagram, sent me a little Happy Mail, and I need to get that opened up too. I received a boo package from Erica, Scrap Diva 29 Thank you so much, Erica. So a video is coming on that. And also, I received a package from Amy Vitriani, so there'll be a video on that. And, um, and, and you know, um, while everything was going on crazy in my personal life, um, Crafty Life was wonderful, and I received an amazing package from Jill Norwood. So I'll be posting a video on that as well. But let me first, um, Shara's challenge, um, you know, is getting ready to close out as I film this video, so I want to make sure that I share this and get this up and then, um, you know, get those other videos loaded and kind of get back on track. Um, this is um, a box that I made to hold Shara's memory decks. I have um, some Halloween items that I need to get to Shara that I wanted to share while I was filming this video too. And I'll put those aside. And then I have um, this bag topper. It's a little um, treat for Shara to go along with her various items. So let me, I think I'll show you the box first. Um, so I can get to my memory decks. This is, um, you know, one of those boxes from Michaels. I just altered it and I used, um, the gorgeous, um, snowflake collection by crepe paper. And I have to say it's my most favorite holiday wintery themed collection ever. It's gorgeous. It's totally my color scheme. I love muted dull colors and, and kind of matte finishes and that and I love yellow too and the collection has pops of yellow. So totally, totally, totally me. So what I did here is I just kind of wrote Shara's name with the thickers from the snow, Snowflake collection on her gift box and I stitched all around as you see as I was turning you probably saw that I stitched on all the panels. Um, really wanted to do this in, the, in Shara's style since it's her challenge. And um, for the top of my box, for my topper, I just kind of layered on a doily. I layered on some, um, this Martha Stewart eyelash trim. And I have a snowflake here. It might be hard to see. I'll put this up so maybe you can see it. And then I layered on a snowflake um, rosette. Um, I used, I cut the snowflake rosette using a um, die from Anna Griffin. And then I made this cute, cute bow. And this bow is um, a steel wool die from Allie. And isn't it adorable? It cuts the bow and then it cuts the cute little um, elf hat to adorn your bow. Um, I just think it's adorable. And I kind of stitched everything up there too. So yeah, so let me show you my memory decks here, my 3D memory decks. Now, holy smokes, this was a challenge for sure, and mega, mega, mega time consuming. Um, I did a, a 3D drum for my memory deck. So um, I got um, the inspiration from Shara herself. She did these beautiful cauldrons for Halloween. Love the look. So, and um, I just thought it was amazing. They were absolutely amazing. So I used Shara for inspiration to come up with, um, you know, my, my memory decks. And um, 
fur challenge. And yeah, like I said, it's a 3D drum. I use a cut file from SVG Cuts to create the little drum. And I love I love the little cut file because um, it's just so darling. I just love everything about it. Um, I love the little paneling. I love how um, she designed the drum so that you get the um, cording effect to the drum. And it's just super duper duper cute. Now the SVG Cuts file um, actually cuts a full round drum, right? So I had to um, kind of manipulate and figure out a way to turn my drum into uh, a memory deck. And um, I'll show you, like, I did a little prototype. And, um, you know, before I got started, so this is my prototype, and it's kind of funky in here, and I was, you know, it was kind of like, I had some strange ideas, I think, at the time. And, and doing a prototype really helped me kind of wrap my mind around the whole 3D um, memory decks um, challenge to, to come up with, um, you know, to, to construct mine in a, in a manner that was kind of as efficient as possible and, um, you know, looked, looked good and worked. Um, so here, just to kind of get into, I have my little embellishment here, and he's going to um, fall out. So let me show you the focus on the drum. Um, I kind of did stitching around the bands of the drum, as you can see. And um, I decorated my drum with a little bow. I got a stitch bow. I got this cut file from the Silhouette Design store. And then um, I adorned my drum with this amazing, amazing um, kind of like tinsel trim that I picked up at a store by me. It's called Home Sense. I picked it up this year. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Look, it's just like the perfect little embellishment. And for a 3D project, it's amazing because it's elastic. So it kind of strung around and, it, and I was able to manipulate it with the brads and through it and everything very easily. And I think it's a cute look. And then I did like my little panel, little stitch panel here. I did everyone a shaker. And I made my shaker mix with some seed beads and some sequins from Allie. And um, I just kind of, uh, I, when I was kind of working on my drum, I had kind of a raw edge here. So I covered that up with some twine. And then I used some gold and white baker's twine to string my drum. And yeah, and then, um, I have a little gift in here for Cheryl. I'll show you that real quick. It's some um, gold, rose gold um, eyelash trim, and I got this from Hobby Lobby. So I put that in my little drum. And you know, I'll take the kind of the insides out so you can get a look at the insides and how I did it. it might be kind of dark to see, but I did line the inside with some pom pom trim to finish it off. And let's see, what else can I tell you about this? Oh, in the back, I um, did a panel in the back. I Pulled, I ripped and pulled and curled the paper to make a little pocket for my tags here. I layered, I like to do this, um, I like to, when I pull the paper and curl it, I like to layer it with lace or doilies and or doilies, so I layered this with a paper doily. And um, here are my tags. I just have a little tag from the Snowflake collection in here. And then I have a tag with some pretty, um, yikes, um, yellow velvet trim that I picked up at Joann's this year that has my handmade information on it. And what else can I tell you? I um, have a little ephemera piece from the Snowflake collection here and a little banner that says peace on my little car. And yeah, and that's, um, I think that's, you know, that's my um, drum. And so also um, I did, you know, for my embellishment for my drum, I was thinking like drumsticks. So I made a, what I call a drumstick embellishment and it's meant to kind of just sit in there um, and look like the drumsticks are poking out. And I thought that came out really cute. And I used some pom-poms that I picked up from Joann's this spring. They were the perfect color for the Snowflake collection. Um, so I used those to be the top of my drumsticks. And then let me show you... Um, kind of what's going on with this embellishment here. I just, um, the drumsticks are, um, you know, uh, I made those, put pom-poms on the end of skewers, crisscrossed them, and then layered my um, various elements on, on around and on top of it. So you can see there, that's the back of my um, layered drumstick embellishment. And um, I just, again, it's just chunky with different layers of ephemera pieces, chipboard. Um, I have the Squirrel Puffy sticker, Jemmy's. Um, let's see. And you can see in here, I have pom-poms. And um, here, 
I have um, a little holly leaf, and this is actually from the Prima Santa Baby collection. Now that collection is red, and these berries were red, so I colored them in with my gold metallic marker so that they would blend in better. I have some of my Martha Stewart, my favorite Martha Stewart eyelash trim here in the gold and, and kind of like white. I put a little bow on my drumstick end, a seam binding bow, it's hard to see. Um, I have a little dangle on my star here. And yeah, I just I just thought this came out really, really cute. And then um, one of the things I did here is I cut this word jolly from a design by, I think it's called Birch Tree Press. And I loved it because it came with the um, word jolly and then it came with the backer too. And I just love this die. And the other thing I wanted to point out um, about this um, is that I got this amazing paper from AC Moore that and I don't know if you can see it but it's gorgeous it is like a white gloss paper and I love it love it love it love it and AC Moore is the only place I've ever seen white gloss paper and it is just gorgeous gorgeous I love it and then um, what I did was I cut my sentiment I cut a layer of white foam and then I let whoops and then I um, cut my base with a white um, glitter card stock that I also purchased at AC Moore. Um, what I like about this white glitter card stock, again, it might be hard to, the detail might be um, not coming through in video, but what I love about um, this white glitter card stock is it's that pure snow white. It doesn't have like, a lot of times when you see white glitter card stock, it has like, um, you know, little flecks of colors in it. This one has no colors. It's just pure snowy white and I love that look. Yeah, so that's my little embellishment, and let me show you a couple of little, little things going on here. Um, I also made Shara these little um, rosette embellishments. Um, they're just like little minis. I um, cut these snowflakes using my Infinity Arts um, nested snowflake dies, and um, you know, what is it called? Hero Arts Infinity dies. Sorry, I screwed the name up. Hero Arts Infinity dies love Hero Arts Infinity dies, and they have one that's a snowflake shape. So I, you know, when you have the Infinity dies or the nested dies, you can make shakers, and that's what I did. I made a couple of little shakers um, using my Tim Holtz rosette die and the nested snowflake dies. It might be hard to see, but they do shake. And little pom-poms. I have a little, um, what is this, a little sticker from Mike, uh, not Michael's, Hobby Lobby has these cute little ornament um, embellishments this year. And um, this is an embellishment from the paper collection itself. And it looks like I layered it on a snowflake. And then I layered in um, some of that Martha Stewart eyelash twine and the rose gold eyelash twine from Hobby Lobby. And let's see, what else do I have in Shara's box here? Oh, I just um, wanted to send her a treat. Um, it's a little chocolate bar that I wrapped up um, with some twine and a sentiment strip from the snowflake collection so um now that's that is um shara's that's my submission for shara's challenge um in terms of memory decks challenge i did want to show one other thing in terms of that submission i made her um i'm sending her some goodies for hosting this amazing challenge which it, it was challenging it was fun but it was challenging and I had a blast and I loved it and I learned a lot of new stuff doing the challenge which I love and so I wanted to send her some you know happy mail thank you goodies and um, so let me show you the little bag topper that I made for her I like to do stuff that's removable so I clipped it on here with this little um, paper clip and it does completely come right off real easily so that she can reuse it and I just like um, you can see her I layered some doilies and I did some stitching with the doilies, and I have, um, what is this, some polka dot gold tool. And what else? I, this doily is a Maggie Holmes gold doily. And then I just, I stitched around this ephemera piece from the collection of Holly. I layered on one of those snowflakes. They're from, uh, these snowflakes are the ones from Hobby Lobby. I layered on um, some, you know, I don't know if this is a tag or what this is from the paper collection ephemera piece. I used a, another one of those birch tree press dies. This one, the sentiment is fa la la. I used the white um, paper, the white gloss, high gloss paper from AC Morgan. This time I layered it on pink foam. It might be hard to see, but I did um, 
for the bottom layer, the shadow layer, I did use that white, pure white um, glitter cardstock. Yeah, then I just have little accents here and there, like pom poms and sequins, and have a little birdie. So I thought they came out pretty, and it um, just kind of, well, I'll put it back together. Just kind of easily layers on here, like so, and she can um, absolutely reuse it. And then down here, I have, um, I picked up a new die at Hobby Lobby this year. It's a little different, um, Christmas critters, I think, for, for the most part. And I don't have a polar bear die, so I picked it up and I thought it's really cute. And then I have used my Tim Holtz snowflake dies. I just cut out bunches of snowflakes in different colors and um, use them to accent things. And, I, and then I just layered him, my polar bear, on some um, washi tape from the collection. And then, um, oops, looks like this came off a little bit. Let me do some damage control here and I just layered some washies on the back um, to hold the packaging shut even a little bit more although the paper clips doing a good job so that's Shara's stuff and then I wanted to show you drum number two is in production and I thought you might like to see um, drum number two um, to give you a sense of um, you know how, how I constructed this um, or in the process for constructing it with this drum I'm going to put, like, you know, trying things out here with my little clips. I clipped on this pom-pom um, trim on the outside this time to see if I liked it, and I really liked the look. And then I, let, you know, and I have my, you know, just different things layered on here until it gets all stitched and glued down. I have, um, here, let me show you. This is what the drumsticks look like before they get all nicely embellished. You know, they're kind of, like I said, I just crisscross them and the skewers and put um, little pom-poms on the top. And I'll let you see inside, you know, the construction inside, how that's going on. And, you know, I don't have the bottom adhered yet, but I will. And on the back here, I have to do, um, one of the things you have to be mindful of, and I keep forgetting, I have a note here to myself to remind me. When you adhere the drum or any sort of three-dimensional element to the memory dex card itself, you know, you're probably going to be creating some sort of tabs of some sort to do the adhering. So you got to remember to kind of layer, you know, kind of adhere your tabs, and then you need a kind of a cover-up panel to cover up that work. So I had forgotten that, and I had to do an extra panel. Um, so just a little bit more work, but not the end of the world. And what else can I tell you about my memory dex card? I do use... Um, I, to construct it, I let, you know, and when it, especially with third dimensional, they need, the memory dex card needs some strength to support all that weight. So I like to use um, water carter, watercolor cardstock. I think the manufacturer is Canson and pick it up at Hobby Lobby. And it's really thick. It has a great texture to it. And I just use that for my uh, memory dex base. It's, it's white paper. And, um, layer on my designer paper and that creates a lot of strength to the to the memory decks itself. Let me show you on showers which is a little bit um, you know more together here than this one. What I mean like the thickness. So you can hear you know that it's and it's not flimsy or going anywhere. So um and I did that all the way up the back so that you know this card has some strength. It's not quite as thick as chipboard, but I think it's good enough, you know, to to support the memory decks. Um, it's very very strong. So that's how it's sort of like a mini tutorial about how I did um, my um, memory decks. And I can't wait. I'll come back with a full video of this. I can't wait to finish this up. This is going out to a, a really special person who is incredibly who's been incredibly patient for me when I get this one finished. And let me see, what else can I show you with this collection? Um, again, I have to come back with another video, but just real briefly, I've also been working on some additional embellishments using the Snowflake collection. Um, this is that die from Sizzix, the little deer that I mentioned, that the critter die from, that I picked up from Hobby Lobby this year. And then I also um, made this, oops, yikes, this very heavily layered embellishment. And this one I used this gorgeous pom-pom trim. Um, Again, I think this is like a TJ Maxx. Shara actually picked this up for me. I couldn't find it at my local TJ Maxx, and she found it and was kind enough to send it to me. Um, so I'm so grateful to have that. And let me see. I think what I should do is kind of show you some of the stuffs I used in case 
you want to buy it yourself and you're curious. So the black and white pom-pom trim is this trim here. And this is the information. It's Gartner Studio. And I think you can get this at TG Maxx. I, my store was HomeSense, um, probably Home Goods, and you know maybe Marshalls. Might you might find this at any of those stores. And then that glitter trim that I adore for my drums. I just love this stuff. The stuff here. It's like my new favorite trim. Um, this is what this one looks like. It's it says Martha Stewart. And this is how you would find that on this bowl in the stores. And there's some information. Um, and then I also used, let me see, I'll show you the dies I used is what I think I should show you next. Um, just so you can see some of those, um, get a better sense. So this is the Hero Arts Infinity die that I was talking about. Here are the Birch Press Design Sentiment dies. I have three. These are cute. These are the three I chose. They have more, but I love these sentiments. I got the Mary, the Falala, and the Jolly. And so that's that, those dies in case you want to find them. And then this is the Sizzix set that I was referencing that I used with the little critters. There's my polar bear and there's the deer I used. Really, really cute. Make sure you can see the information. You have all the details on that. It's a cute set. Check your Hobby Lobby. Here's, and here are the Anna Griffin um, Snowflake Rosette dies that I used. I used the big one on the box, and I used the little one on the Snowflake um, uh, Drumstick Embellishment. And I love these dies. They are amazing. Anna Griffin makes some really good stuff. Okay, so this is a long video. Finally, moving on to the Halloween items that I made for Shara. Um, this, I packaged up, I had made this um, little... Um, mask using the Tim Holtz mask dies that he came out with this year and um, <coughs> it's a little mini shaker and did a lot of stitching <coughs> and, um, the mask is on a little um, skewer and it has some ribbons and pom-pom um, decorating and a little star here and I used the Hey Pumpkin collection by Crepe Paper and this um, doily here is um, I cut this with a die, a very old Spellbinders die that I have in my stash. And then I made Shara, I'm sending her some, some goodies in this, um, gifting her some Halloween kind of themed goodies in this baggie. Um, again, totally removable. So I have a clothespin here holding this on, holding everything together. So I just layered some doilies on here loose. You can totally reuse these. <coughs> and then for my embellishment here, it's a layered bat. And so I have a chipboard from the collection, um, you know, like some pom-poms, I have a rosette, and um, I have a ghosty popping out here, some, I think I said pom-poms. Shower kept, he had mentioned a couple of times how this bat is her favorite chipboard in the collection, so I absolutely had to use him on her embellishment, because I watch her videos and I heard her mention that. And, um, and then I used this little um, puffy stickers, they're, they're from Target, this, uh, they were from Target this Halloween. And they're just so cute. Look at them. And finally, um, let me see, what else was I going to say? This bat, this bat is a die cut from Spellbinders. And um, I have been looking for this die for a while. This, this It's a nested bat die. And at the time that it came out, I bought the nested tombstone dies. But I didn't buy the nested bats. And I was always so sorry I didn't get them. And I found them on eBay this year. Somebody was destashing them. And I bought them right away, and I was just so thrilled to to add them to my collection and use them to uh, make an embellishment for for shower for Halloween. So yeah, so I think I got through everything that I wanted to share for now. I will be back, like I said, with um, drum number two. I might do an additional couple of drums if I get the time. Um, would love to, um, but you know the. the the 3D projects are definitely mega time consuming, but I'll definitely come back with job number two. And then a series of Happy Mail videos that I've received and my Halloween project um, video. So thank you everybody for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them below. I'd be happy to answer them. I might be a little bit, if I'm delayed in getting back to you, please um, hang in there with me. There's just a lot going on at this time. And thank you so much for watching. Bye.
Yikes, I'm back. I forgot to share with you the dies that I use for the Halloween embellishments. These are the um, nested bat dies that I had mentioned. That um, they're, They were by Spellbinders. Um, they're old. They're called nested bats. And I was so thrilled to find them this year. They're gorgeous, gorgeous dies. Um, here's my old retired um, pumpkin doily, also by Spellbinders. I don't think I kept the packaging for this one, but... Um, I got this years ago and I love it. It's super cute. And then this was um, from Shara, a gift from Shara, the Boogie Nights that I used to make her embellishment. So yeah, so those are the Halloween dies in case you were wondering. Thanks again.